what is going to get you to fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear? Real easy. It's taking inventory. It's always taking inventory. Okay, all right, listen. Friends, standards, you gotta raise your standards, okay? Listen, everybody write this down. Everyone around you has to get to your new standard or they have got to go. Guys, I believe in something called the law of attraction. I'm gonna explain this to you. For anybody right now that doesn't have the life that they want, that doesn't have it, I need you to think, do you know what it looks like? Do you know what, it, what you want? I remember me and Evan were just talking about Conor McGregor last night, and he was dead E and broke. He wasn't in the UFC yet, right? They did an interview with him, and he goes, man, I can, I'm gonna be in the UFC one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick everybody's ass. I picture myself rolling around, you know, California, Vegas, in my Bentley drop top. And guys, he's in a $200 car saying this. Law of attraction. He called his shot. He wrote it down. He eliminated everybody. And by the way, let's talk about Conor McGregor, McGregor's trainer real quick. You know why he chose his trainer? Because his trainer allowed him to fight, fight freely and not fight like everybody else. Guys, I am not a trainer like anyone else. Number one, I am going to tell you this. You will always commonly hear me talk to you guys about mindset. Always. Always, okay? Because look, dude, if you go into a fight and you think you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. Am I right? If you go into a fight and you think you're gonna lose, are you gonna get knocked out? Yes. You can never doubt yourself. Never. How many of you right now, guess what, are a little bit comfortable? Okay? Burn that. Burn that. Guys, I want to say this. Stay starving. Not stay hungry. Stay starving. Guys, how do you stay starving? Well, you got to have something in front of you that you're chasing. Listen, I have a vision of who I want to be in front of me at all times. And I take inventory of that daily. And I wonder, is, am I becoming that guy? Or did I stall out? Right? Like, am I in neutral right now? Or am I in fifth gear? Or some of you are in reverse. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Hey, I want to stop the video real quick and show you. I just released my brand new book called The Book of Deadly Scripts. You want to know how to overcome any objection in the world? You want to know how to literally pick up the phone and every single time you do, create a hot end market buyer who wants to buy a vehicle? Do me a favor. Shoot me a text right now, 918-210-0254. I don't have this book for sale on the website. If you'll shoot me a text, I'll send you the link so you can buy it. Let's crush it and kill it. This book will change your life. It just got released. Let's get back to the video. Okay? I need you to understand this. What is going to get you to fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear? Real easy. It's taking inventory. It's always taking inventory. Okay? So, who are you listening to? Write that down. Who am I listening to? Okay? What am I tolerating? Guys, when I say, who are you listening to? I'm asking you, like, are you training on your mindset? Are you training on the training? Are you doing training because someone told you it would make you money? Or are you doing training because there's a person that you want to become that, like, that's what you're after? Guys, listen, if you're after money, you're not going to make it. You know what I commonly see? People buy a training program so they can get paid. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. You get in training so you can become a certain person that can provide at levels no one else can because of the person you create yourself to be. That's it. That's it. And that person can make more money than they know what to do with. But people get it screwed up. You're like, dude, I'm going to train because I need to make more money. Listen, the problem is, is that you got money on your brain. People that have money in their mind, they sell desperate. People that have money in their mind, they, they make bad moral moves. It's just the truth. Never make a decision based off money. Never. Okay? Never. Always remember this. If you guys, if you can do one thing, if you can build yourself up to be the best in the world, you will never worry about money again. So what's the one thing that you have to do? Number one, in order for you to grow, right? And everybody, write this down. Bloom where you're planted. Okay? Okay? The grass is green where you water it. Let me explain this. So many, so many of you, when something goes wrong, you immediately go towards like another company or another place or someone else that has something that maybe your dealership doesn't have. Guys, what about you? Okay? Can I ask a question? If I'm married to my wife and we get in a bad fight or something happens or we're having a bad week or two, do I go look on the other side of the, the, the fence? and look to see if some other chick has something my wife don't have? No, 
I bloom where I planted. I go back and I water the grass in my marriage. And then my marriage blooms. Okay? That's it. And so many of us, we don't realize that we have massive control over everything in your life. Some of you don't feel like you have control over anything, then it's like a rat race. Let's just slow down and take inventory of your life. You do have control of everything. Your wife will be passionately in love with you. Your children, will, you will be the best dad as long as you, you train to be that. You guys can make as much money where you want. Guys, I made 716 grand in 2014 in a store that sold 70 cars a month. Please, somebody give me an excuse. I mean, please. Like, so many of you guys right now, this market, trades are worth 10 to 12 grand more than they should be worth. Every customer has to pay all the dough for every car. Internet prices are making money. Every customer will buy from the person that treats them the best. So then there's two things. How do we get a hold of more people? And then how do we change our personality and ourself to really go attack right now while we got this 100 year wave sitting in front of us? So many of you guys are trying to make it complicated. Number one, listen to me. You speak for a living. Be better at speaking. How do you do that? You gotta talk, okay? Some of you guys aren't talking enough. You're waiting till you get a customer to do the speaking. Listen to me. I challenge every one of you right now to talk to everybody everywhere. Engage in conversations that you were normally shy not to engage in, and you didn't, but now you're doing it for one simple reason. You're proving that you can make a connection with anybody. So I walk up to a lady and I say, hey, how are you doing? My, my name's Andy, what's your name? Why am I talking to her? Because I am challenging myself to see if I can make a connection with her. Some of you are like, I don't have time for that. See, that's exactly the problem. Because when you do have a client that wants to buy something from you, you can't connect with them because you don't know the power of connecting. Okay, a skill that you need to learn is to be able to connect with anybody. When you sit at a table and there's 50 people at the table, does everybody stop and stare at you? Are you the one that runs the table? Are you powerful? Is that you? It needs to be you. It can be you. You just gotta make the choice that do. I'm going for a better life and I'm gonna do it now. And we're going to train to change. Train to change. Now look, number one, your friends, inventory, standards, inventory. Now I'm gonna write this down. You get what you tolerate. Some of you guys, you need to raise your, you need to raise your standards. You guys are tolerating bullshit. Okay, you get what you tolerate, all right? Okay, you know what that means? If I'm a general manager and I'm on the call right now, and my team, I say, guys, let's hit the phones, baby. And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck that. All right, guess what? If I let them get away with that, number one, it's my fault. Because now I've ruined my sales floor. Because I've tolerated that attitude. But let's flip the side around real quick before we say you get what you tolerate. A good general manager would also be out there sitting on the front with his, with his customer, with his uh, salespeople, dialing, making the calls with them. I wanna explain something to you. I breed leaders, I don't breed followers. I breed leaders, okay? I was talking about culture and company and I was talking about the way winning is done and building an elite team. Listen to me, if you guys ever wanna run a team, ever, you have to do what it is that you say you're gonna do and you have to be the very best at it. Do you guys wanna look up to someone who's not an alpha, who's not the best? You guys don't look up to weak people. You look up to people who are strong. That's who you guys look up to. Well, you guys, I want you to know that your future next move, it's gonna come from you being that person. Now, are you gonna wait till you get the job and the title one day, and then you're gonna go and become that person, or do you need to become that person now? Become it now. When I was an assistant sales manager, I was already preparing to be the general manager. I already prepared what my meetings were gonna look like, what my showroom floor was gonna look like, what disciplinary actions I was gonna take for someone who wasn't with me, right? before I would get, would get rid of them, I, I, I went over all of it. And I started training on these things daily so that I can envision where it was I was gonna go. And I wanna tell you something, guys. People are always watching you, okay? They don't tell you they're watching, but they're watching you. And some of you right now, you're like, man, I wanna run my store one day. And you know what? You're not gonna run that store unless you're running it like you're running your store right now. You're producing the best work habits. You're, you're working the hardest. You're changing the quickest. By the way, are you guys cheering other salespeople on while you're selling? I'm just asking. It's unattractive to be an asshole, okay? Listen, but I'm not telling you to get caught up in conversations you don't need to be. I'm just saying, if Corey sells a car, I'm like, hey, good job, Corey. Move on. 
Okay, I knew you were, hey, by the way, look, you're gonna go to the top of the board this month. I believe in you, even if I know it's my spot. I'm gonna encourage him to think he can take me, okay? Guys, be good people, because guess what happens? When Dave gets promoted and he does a good job and they're like, man, you know the person that walks like the company, that, that runs a company, talks like he runs a company, acts like he runs a company? Man, that's Dave. Dave's got a good relationship with all these salespeople. Man, Dave's a leader. Well, the next thing you know, Dave moves up. If you guys are assholes to everybody on the floor, you ever seen a used car manager or a new car manager get promoted, but then no salespeople respect him because he was an asshole when he was on the floor? And now he's like, hey, I, I'm the manager. And they're like, hey, screw you, dude. I never liked you anyways. Guess what? He doesn't make it and he has no impact because nobody likes him. Do you follow Brad Lee? Guys, it's Andy Elliott right here at my conference room in Scottsdale, Arizona. We are putting on the event of the year. June 4th, entrepreneurs, salespeople, closers, business owners. You wanna build a sales team and learn how to close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. This is gonna be the event. And by the way, Brad Lee isn't gonna be here like a speaker at most speaking events. He's personally gonna be training from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Everything you need to know to triple your income this year. And by the way, this is an event that ain't gonna happen again. If you wanna be the best, if you wanna be so great at what you do, you make your competition look like freaking amateurs, this is the place you wanna be. We only got 350 seats, so the spots are gonna go out fast. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. You don't wanna miss this event, shoot a text message right now to 918-210-0254. Let's kill it, baby. Let's go.